guys, so I was doing my makeup and I thought I would do like a mini review of the new L'Oreal mascara. I haven't got any mascara on right at the moment, um, but I do obviously want to add some. I thought I would quickly um, film this for you. So this is uh, what the new mascara of, from L'Oreal looks like. It's called the Unlimited Mascara and it's in the colour black. Now if I'm not wrong, I think this is waterproof, but I'm not really sure. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, currently is retailing for eight ninety nine, um, but that's the introductory price. Um, it will go up to I think ten ninety nine. So I think there's like two pounds off this currently. Um, I got this from Boots, and um, yeah, so I think they will increase the price once they've basically done everything they wanted to. Um, anyway, so let's start. Uh, it has like a small clip here in front. Uh, which I will need to remove oh. um, and the main selling point that they have for this is actually its wand which moves um, this actually reminds me of there was one from I think it was from Dior um, that had the movable but I think that was for a liner not for a mascara anyway let's open this Right, okay, so this is what the wand looks like. Um, it's tapered right at the end. Um, it's not a fibre one, so it's like the plastic one. If you're not a fan of these, then obviously you wouldn't really like this. But um, let's try putting this on. It has a plastic smell. I think it might be waterproof. I'm not really sure. Okay, so let's get on with this. Oh, this is wrong. Okay. 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 It's a bit fiddly. It certainly is lightweight. But what I'm actually finding slightly problematic is actually holding it because if I want to go right into the roots, I have to hold it like properly with my whole hand instead of just like fingers. I mean, I like the concept, but so wiggle it, wiggle. And let's do the same for the lower lash line. So I think I have to straighten that for the lower lash line. Okay, so this is one coat. So I'll close my eye just so that you can see. So this is one coat and this is no coat. Um, okay, let me do this eye now and we can do like a comparison of what they look like apart. Okay, so that's one coat on both eyes. Let me do a second coat on this one and see how it builds up. Okay, so this is two coats and that is one coat. I mean, in terms of length, it definitely gives length. But I'm thinking if you are the kind of person who likes um, very light and feathery lashes um, and maybe more volume, you might not like this. And I say this because it, I mean, it gives you like those spidery lashes. Um, and if you're not a fan of those, then you might not like this. Let me do the other eye. I think it's easier to use this with just 
a straight wand instead of tilting it. I know where they're coming from and I understand what they mean, but it's not really working, Lavielle. Sorry. Okay, so I think I'll stop there, otherwise I will get the most fiery lashes <laughs> ever. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. These are two coats each on both lashes. Um, my first expression impressions of this would be, um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. It's, it reminds me a lot of the Benefit Bad Girl. Uh, bang mascara and only because it has exactly the same um, wand and it has the same finish as well so it's very light like when you're put, putting this on you don't really feel that you're putting on too much product even though it looks like you've added a lot um, if you I mean if anything I think it might be like a like a dupe for the benefit bag bad gal bang um, let me know if I'm wrong but this is this is what I feel like and um, would I pay £11 for this? Mm, maybe not. Um, no, I paid £9 for this for now and I think that suffices for this look. Obviously, if you like this kind of look, you like the spidery lashes, then this go for it. You will absolutely love this. But if you like the more natural or maybe the curled look, then this might not be for you. Um, I don't dislike it. Uh, will I use it again? Probably yes. But I just think the packaging of this is a bit clunky. You can't really put this in your purse and take it away because this will take a lot of your space. Um, also, the tr the wand that they've tried to, this thing that they've tried to do, didn't really work for me, to be honest. If anything, I found it more comfortable when I was using the wand straight. And... Um, yeah I think that's it I will um, let you guys know how this turned out after a few hours and if there was any flaking or anything like that I will let you guys know either I will film film it or I will write down the comments here somewhere so you know and um, yeah I think if I if if I was told to give it marks out of 10 uh, I would give this um, Seven. Um, I know that's quite high for some people, but I mean, I don't mind spidery lashes. I don't mind overcoated, like thin looking lashes. I don't mind this. I actually do like this. Um, the only reason I've taken away three points is A, the packaging is awful. Um, this is very, very fiddly. Um, and secondly, I think uh, when you take out the wand, there isn't enough like that. There isn't enough suction for it to actually remove excess. So you need to wipe the wand quite a few times to take away the excess amount. Let me know if you guys like this. Give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye.